And this is Serena's poster. Having this is kind of a reminder of where I want to go. I want to be the best ever. I want to be better than Serena. And I want to have that Grand Slam record one day. When I went to my first tennis camp, I was around seven years old. I was used to hitting against the garage uh, of my house, and then my dad put me in a summer camp, and then the rest is, just took off from there. Delray Beach resident Coco Goff credits her tennis career to the Williams sisters. Goff, at just 14 years old, is off to a historic start to her own career. In the final of the 2018 French Open, she becomes the fifth youngest girls singles champion in the history of the event. I'm Coco, and I've been a number one ranked tennis player. Amen. I, so we get up at 6.30, and then once we all get dressed, we eat breakfast, and then we take them to school. Y'all ready? Cody's, <laughs> Cody's outside. We got to get out of the house by about 7.40 to make this drop off comfortable. And then we try to time it so that we're headed to the tennis court right after we dropped them off. So she has her own dynamic warm-up routine. When you're a kid growing up, you, you used to just jump out on the court and play, you know? <laughs> Shake our legs a little bit. But now it's much more important to go through a real warm-up. Typically, we try to go over all the areas of the game when she's here. So a lot of ground strokes, we'll serve, we'll do return to serve. And we'll work on progressive things like getting a better slice, better backhand volley. We'll start to work on those things. This is my least favorite drill. At the U.S. Open, we start looking at a lot of the guys' serves and looking at where they're putting the ball. I think every point either starts with a serve or return, so we want to be good at least the start of all the points. <laughs> what I love about Coco the most is that she works hard, she comes to work, and even when she gets down on herself, she comes right back up. And she's one of the most competitive people that I'm always around. When she's at a tennis tournament, then I'm the assistant, um, making sure everything is organized, making it easier for her. Because at 14, I consider her a professional. When you see that someone has potential, you do whatever it takes to make sure that they, they grow. But when it's like off the court and at home, I'm mom, you have to listen, do your you know, chores. Sometimes it gets overwhelming because you know, I'm always on the road and then when I come home, it's not like really a break. Like you're, you gotta move, you gotta keep getting better and keep moving forward. But I really like coming here. I'm Richard Woodruff and I'm with Raw Tennis Performance. We work a lot on her mobility, her flexibility, uh, making sure she's activated properly. Our focus with her is keeping her healthy and keeping her on the court. I have a tendency to like when I squat and even when I play, like my knee kind of comes in this way, but you want them to kind of be like straight, I guess. That's why we were doing a lot of jumping and a lot of squatting. We start with a passive range of motion and then we go to an active range of motion. Then we went to the bands, which is her glute activation. That controls the knees, especially for female tennis players. They're really susceptible to ACL to knee injuries because of the way they're built. The most difficult part of tennis is there's not much of an off season. So you come out of one event, one big event, and you're already going back to the next thing. Anytime you're talking about 14, 15 year old headed for a long career, we do worry about burnout. And what we're doing is keeping her healthy and staying on the court. Second practice of the day, a lot of times we try to do match play in the afternoon. So we try to work on all the parts of the game, work on the volley, the overhead, and we put it into practice, see how does it all come together, how does she make decisions around the stuff that she worked on that day. I like tennis because it teaches you on-court things and how to stay strong, but also off-court it teaches you how to be independent and think for yourself. I'm coach dad to so understand her moods, what she needs to do to grow into a young lady, not just a tennis player. My parents never put pressure on me to win. I think all the pressure I feel is from myself because I, I like I like winning and I want to win and I hate to lose. My third grade year was my first year being homeschooled and now looking back like a bigger change than I thought it was. I thought like it was just like you know just tennis players but it was actually other people who did not play tennis, even who didn't even play a sport at all, who was doing online school too. 
My background in education is I taught elementary school for 19 years. We made the decision over six years ago for me to homeschool my daughter. I'm here to make sure that she um, education is first. Then I can look and see she's either like 50% complete or I can also see her um, grade, her average, and where she's at. And um, that's how I can determine whether or not she's on pace or she's behind. I need to do more. So this was the US Open. I played doubles with Katie and Allie. I played her in the finals of French and we won doubles. This was the finals last year. Um, I was the youngest ever to make it to the finals of US Open. This is uh, the French Open trophy. It's my first junior slam. And I was actually the youngest in I think 23 or 24 years to win it. I was super nervous and I wasn't playing smart. I told myself in my head like, obviously you being nervous is not gonna help you win and you need to like, you know, step out of it or you're gonna come home sad. I just kept playing every point and next thing you know it, I was on the ground and I won the trophy. <laughs> This is Serena's poster. Having this is kind of a reminder of where I want to go and who I want to be like, I guess. Serena and Roger have definitely been the main people. After I lost first round at Australia, Roger just told me like, just go back, uh, keep chopping wood. And I did, and then I came out with a good result. So no days off means that to me, just to work hard constantly, um, even um, when you're not on the court, the way you act and rate the people you surround yourself with. My brothers, they're great, especially Cody. I think me and him have this really special bond. When I lose, he always calls me. When I win, he's always like really happy. So I think just having him around helps. And then Cameron, He's such a positive energy. I'll be crying after I lose, and he'll be like, why are you crying? Like, it's just a tennis match. I'm like, you're right. Like, I'm not gonna die after this. The people you surround yourself with are, is gonna judge whether you'll be successful or not.